we're back with more um, Life is Strange. Finishing up the uh, episode two, I guess. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Damn it. Crazy girl. <sighs> Stupid bottle. We'll just move this box and grab the damn thing. Bottle number one. Four more to go. Uh, it's question is, where is those other bucks? <sighs> I got to find five stinking bottles. Car wreck. Ah, oh, there's one. Boom. Only three bottles left. Looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. All right, well, we got the damn dough. This was an old school punk shirt. Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Wait, 142, that's the number. Uh, how do you take a picture of that? That's the real question. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. It's one of the pictures, 142. But how do you take a picture of it? That's the difficult part. Maybe from the other side? I doubt it, but it's worth a head. Well, there is a number on that one. But, no, you can't take a picture of that yet. Now you can. Here. Three down, two more to go. Ouch. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. 
Okay. Anything else back here? Thanks for the tip. Eat shit and live. Well. I'm sure this is a popular party. One more bottle to go. I think I just accidentally rewinded a thing that I just did. Let me see. Yeah. I think it did. Now we're officially. Okay, one more bottle, right? Where's the bottle? Syringes. What? I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Oh, gross! So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Yep. Syringes. Way heavier than I thought. Is it safe to cross? Yep. I think that's five. That's right. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Let's see, what kind of pictures is there to take? Fire walk with me. I still don't know what that is for. A gun. Picture of somebody at a window. Okay, where did she go? Oh, here she is. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. A little to the right. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, I'll... Max, where do I aim? Slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Uh, Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ah, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. <laughs> Rewind, rewind. <laughs> Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. <laughs> boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. How about the... Uh, How about right? aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh boy. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Damn. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you? <laughs> oh boy. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Okay, shoot. Sure. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Well, that was intense. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. Wow, sir. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. <laughs> I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. 
Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. I'm sure he All is. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? No. Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. <laughs> we would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Uh -oh. Shoe's gonna have to come off. What's that noise? A train. Oh shit. There's gotta be something. Shit, I can't budget at all. I can definitely use this bad boy. Wow, what the heck? 
Okay. I think I just... Okay. <laughs> what just happened? Awesome. It's not locked. But which wire to cut? Please, give me oh, stupid light! No go! Oh, shit! But which wire to cut? The other one? Whoa! Short circuit city! Red. But which wire to cut? Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life! Damn! That was close! Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? No. It was cool to spend time in your that was lair, pretty... but... Crazy. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Guess that's the end of this one. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you would, would yesterday? I have the sweetest outfit. There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Sour grapes. Okay. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree. You seem anti fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. 
Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even <laughs> if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Isn't there, like, photos to take? A person with a picture in a window. And, uh, bottles of whatever. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. Mm. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Somebody's mad. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to score some weed from Nathan. Ah, this is where I'm supposed to be. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Think, big brain. Think. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. Dun, She's dun, all jacked dun. up about surveillance bullshit. Dun, I'm kind of spying dun. on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? This I borrowed the one hard. he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Bring me the brain, Igor. Oh, you can take the picture of it. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. Box with me. I need help it. with this chemical experiment. Oh God. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Doctor Max. Potassium or sodium? Sodium chloride. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Oh boy. Damn. Zip. Nothing. 
Nada. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Was that supposed to happen? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yeah, I can't take a picture of this. Why? That's a minor fail. Okay. Well, where do I take this picture at then? Oh my god. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Bring me the brain, Igor. So what if I rewind again? Hey, War. Asking me for help? I have to add either. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Oh, Let's no. do this thing. Oh, no. This is a bad idea. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Still can't take a picture of this goddamn thing? Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, what? I guess I it is. See? She blinded me with science. And I sure can't take a picture. No, 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 don't rewind. Go forward. Ah, uh, crap. I did not want to rewind. I gotta go fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. I she blinded Miss Grant is so cool and smart. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant. Can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. So that's what I was supposed to do. I've been here do. a little longer. Chloride, but he's made a bigger sodium. mark. I have to say, it's not no. quite autumn enough yet. Chlorine. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. 
That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hey, Warren. So, we use... Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. That's that picture. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Da Vinci was a boss. So what's left? Somebody at the window? Really? Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She mm. needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? <sighs> I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. 
He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Pixie. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Oh yeah. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Dang Punch. it. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at I themselves. I guess Kate will miss class now. We can thank reality TV. I'm worried about her. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Heh, <laughs> dismissed. We'll be back in a- Rewind again and again. Uh oh. I broke the time machine. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, you're slow. Security guard. Power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Yeah. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. Kate, please stop. Listen. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. I don't want to do that ever again. I'm sorry. What are you talking Whew. about? You saved me from talking in class.
Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Is it over? Does this episode ever end? I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. 
Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. on the last episode. What is this? Kate. Oh boy. Baba, you tried to shoot Frank. You answered Kate's call, you told Kate to wait for more proof. You couldn't save Kate. How could you not save Kate? That would be really bad. <laughs> oh boy! Something's coming. <laughs> Alright. As always, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, episode. Oh, it's gonna get interesting, huh?